use of tobacco uh, can affect the lungs. And people that present to us that need a large aortic operation in the chest can have a, uh, a slower, uh, more prolonged recovery than somebody who has uh, you know, excellent lung function to start with. Pre-existing conditions can affect the risk of, the, uh, uh, of surgery on the aorta. Uh, for instance, if an individual presents to us and they've got very, very poor kidney function, uh, that would be an example of somebody whose kidneys would be stressed out by aortic surgery, and they have to be aware that if their kidney function is, let's say, hanging on by a thread, that surgery may break that thread and they may end up on uh, dialysis, either temporary or permanently. Fortunately, that's not very common, but, uh, but it does occur. Most of our patients uh, spend one or two nights in the recovery room. Then they'll spend another anywhere from five to six days uh, in the hospital. The first uh, day or two, they're just generally recovering. Very quickly after that, we want to have them or expedite them to get out of bed and walk around. They began within a day or two to take a diet, uh, initially somewhat slowly, but very quickly into a regular diet. Most patients, when they go home after they've been in the hospital about a week or eight days, uh, are not in a situation where they're going to go home and do their laundry and their cooking and their shopping. So we strongly encourage them uh, to be with a family member and, and have some attention and help for, for a week or two after they go home. It takes about six to seven weeks for the breastbone uh, or an incision between the ribs to, to heal up to the point where uh, they're really almost fully functional again. Going back to work is different. It's different for different people. For a desk job, uh, some patients are back to work within three weeks or so. Uh, for somebody who's going to be doing uh, some heavy lifting, it, it may take a couple of three months. What we want them to do is recover completely and then get back to their regular lives. And for the most part, the surgery that's done on them doesn't impact uh, or change their activities over the long term.